today for Lessie's channel. Today we are going to learn how to do the elliptic stitch. So what you will need are your hook. I am using a size 6.0 millimeter hook and some acrylic yarn. And I am using just some plain gray yarn. So when you have all of those consumed, let's have a look at the table and get started. To begin the Elizabeth stitch, we want to chain an even amount of number plus four. So I'm going to chain a total of 20. To begin your Elizabeth stitch, you want to take your hook and insert it into the fourth chain from your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. You should now have two loops on your hook. You want to yarn over one more time and insert your hook back into that same chain. Grab your yarn and pull up a loop. You should now have four loops on your hook. To secure it, we are going to yarn over and pull through all four loops and finish off with a chain one. There is our first Elizabeth stitch. To begin our second Elizabeth stitch, we are just going to skip this stitch and insert our hook into the next one. Yarn over, grab our yarn, and pull up a loop. You should now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go back into that same chain you just pulled your loop from. Yarn over, and pull up another loop. You should now have four loops on your hook again. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, and pull through all four loops. And just like we did with our first Elizabeth stitch, we are going to secure it by chaining one. And we're going to repeat this process all over again. So skip this stitch, go into the next one, Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, go through the same chain and pull up a loop. You should yarn over one more time and pull through all four loops. Now to secure it, we are just going to yarn over and chain one. And that is how you do the Elizabeth stitch. So we will continue this all the way until we reach our last two stitches. And then I will show you how to do row two. To finish off row one, we are just going to repeat the Elizabeth stitch one last time. So insert your hook into that last chain and repeat the process all over again. You will want to secure your Elizabeth stitch with a chain one. And now what you want to do is chain two. And that starts off row two. To begin row two, we are going to flip our work and insert our hook right into that stitch right here. Grab our yarn and pull up a loop. We should now have two loops on our hook, same as before. Yarn over and insert our hook 
back into that same space. Grab our yard and pull up the loop. We should now have four loops on our hearts again. Yarn over and pull through all four. To secure it, we are just going to yarn over and chain one. There is our first illustrious stitch for our second row. To continue it, we are going to skip this stitch and go into the front of this, this Elizabeth stitch. And it's got a little distinct hole right there. And hold our hook, grab our yarn, and pull up the loop. You should now have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, and go back into that same space. Grab our yarn, and pull up another loop. You should now have a total of four loops on our hook. Yarn over, and go through all four. To finish it off, we are just going to chain one. One more time. We are going to skip this middle stitch and go into the front of this stitch. Pull up the loop, yarn over, and go through the same base again. Grab our yarn and pull up another loop. We should have four loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all four and secure it by chaining one. And we're gonna repeat this process all the way until we finish off with our last stitch. To finish row two, I am going to crochet the last Elizabeth stitch right into the chain two that we did at the very beginning. And we're just going to do the stitch just like we would do for the rest of it. So I now have four loops on my hook. I'm going to finish it off by chaining one. And to start row three, I am just going to chain two. I repeat what I did for row two. And that is how you do the Elizabeth stitch. So next week's project is going to be called the Elizabeth Star. And it's going to be consisting all Elizabeth stitches. And if you look closely, you can see the difference in the texture and the way that it crisscrosses, and I think that is just really pretty and simple. And it will also be really nice and warm for the winter. So, I hope you guys had fun, and I will see you all next week. <laughs>